Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at Disney Springs. A couple of weeks ago I made a video showcasing all the happy hour locations and how to actually drink on a budget down here at Disney Springs. But tonight I want to showcase a high roller menu and show some of the more expensive drinks. But before that, I just want to kind of enjoy the atmosphere because it's a beautiful day. So, let's go do this. If you guys want to see that video of all the happy hour locations, I'll put it in the description below so that you can check it out. But today, like I said, is just a beautiful day. Blue skies, birds are chirping, music. I'm really happy to be here. And like I said before, we're going to be looking at some more higher end cocktails and focusing on like the actual craft of making a cocktail compared to just finding the cheapest way to actually drink like in the previous video. So we're going to be trying things that are very fancy and I'm excited for it. I know the Edison has a select menu with some amazing drinks and then a couple of other spots that I actually have personal favorites at and we're going to be able to show them to you. I think my first stop is going to be here at Morimoto Asia and it's actually got a signature cocktail in here that is a chef inspired drink and I'm very excited to try because it's very unique and that's what I'm looking for is unique high end drinks and I think this fits the category very well. This restaurant is so cool and it's got one of the most amazing bars. If you take a look at this, this is actually the Disney Springs Bottling Company. And you can see this is like the whole entire idea behind the springs and where they would bottle up the springs water. And these were all bottles and it looks like it's a factory. I never knew that about this restaurant itself, but it is absolutely amazing. And this is all fishing nets right here. Very cool spot. And like I said before, it has a really unique drink here. And that's the whole concept and idea behind this. And I just thought, hey, why not? When you're here, you're here. This is the actual Peking Duck Old Fashioned, the drink I was talking about. It's a chef-inspired cocktail using Maker's Mark Private Select, and it actually has duck syrup inside of it. This is going to be a very unique experience, and it's $18, so we're starting down a little low. It's pretty pricey, but you know, you're paying for the experience of this, especially drinking it at Morimoto's. I recently started drinking a lot more different like cocktails and special liquors and basically just trying new things. So this is definitely up there as a unique new thing and I'm excited. And here it is and you can see it's a specialty cocktail because it has the Morimoto stamped ice cube. I always think that's very fancy. And then the Lehin salt right here. This is a fancy touch but what I'm excited for is the duck syrup inside there. This is going to be good and fancy. So I guess I'm just going to dive in. I know I, I'm not even a big fan of duck sauce, but like when they say that they're going to put duck sauce in a drink, you got to try it. You got to try it. Oh, that's smooth. Smooth, like you can taste the duck. You can taste the duck sauce in this. Like not even a liquor, not even a liquor. Like you can just taste the duck sauce. This is really interesting. Honestly, this is a very delicious drink. I was a little shocked, like I said, because I was expecting kind of like a little bit of a bite or a bitter, but the duck sauce actually just kind of like calms it down a lot. So very good here. Very, very shocked, Morimoto. Very shocked. With that being said, though, I would have to say, if you don't normally drink old fashions, this isn't going to be something you would enjoy. But it's something like if if, if it piques your interest, then you should try the Peking Duck. It makes sense. If it piques your interest, yeah. try the Peking Duck. I like that. Yeah. Regardless, though, I wish there was a way you can keep the ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Cube. That's kind of crazy. I want to get like a custom ice cube maker. Like one that says like PMM. Oh, That'd be fancy. Now I think it's time we move along. I really enjoyed the drink in there. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite drink of the night's gonna be because I'm looking for uniqueness and things that I wouldn't normally try. The purpose of this video is to experience more of the higher end things and also things that I normally wouldn't drink. So let me know what's your favorite. And I'm just loving the atmosphere today. It is so beautiful out. This is one of the nicer days I've seen here in Florida in a while. And I know the rest of the United States is actually kind of a little bit cold at the moment. But Florida, showing it's through heat. The next place I want to take you guys to is such a personal favorite of mine. I love it here and the theming is phenomenal. 
Enzo's Hideaway Tunnel Bar, which is basically a prohibition speakeasy. And you know that just fits perfectly to have some very special drinks. So I'm excited to actually go down there. And of course, it's kind of like tucked away like a speakeasy bar would be. I always enjoy just walking through Enzo's Hideaway. It's just such a fun experience. And normally we don't stop and actually get a drink. So this time I'm going to show you one of their amazing cocktails here. They even have like that slide like lookout slot right there. So you have to knock on the door and then you get to go in and it's like a tunnel bar. That's exactly what it is. Very cool. Oh, fancy. This place has some very, very rare liquors and it's so excited to see what they can put together because of like the theming of the whole entire speakeasy and the kind of like smuggling and stashing different types of alcohol. And that's why I like it so much down here. And I like the music as well. As you can see, Enzo's smuggled and stashed collection. They've scourged the globe on a mission to find unique, hard to find spirits, meeting with brewers and distillers that create rare small batch booze. So I think that's really interesting. You can get some very special stuff here. So we're gonna try one of these like very rare to find spirits. As you can see, we have some very aged rum. 12 years, both of these are. And one's from Guatemala. And what was the other one this from? from Nicaragua. This Ni is Guatemala. Oh, this is from Guatemala. This one's from Nicaragua. This is a little more. It's wow. about 15 years. 15 years. I think I'm going to do 15 years then. Ooh. Sounds fancy. <laughs> Oh boy, fancy. Normally, I don't drink like these very expensive liquors or anything like that. But like I said, I'm doing this for the sole purpose to actually do it and experience new things. So that's why I'm trying to live it up. Do the best that I can and just take it all in. You know what I'm saying? So the bartender actually looked it up and it's not 15 years, it's 25 years for each drum. That is absolutely mind blowing. It's not every day you're sipping on 25 year old age drum. <laughs> I'm very excited for this though. I don't know what to think. Why is there no kickback on this? That is mind blowing. Oh my Lord. That is very delicious. <laughs> wow. That is definitely the smoothest rum I have ever had. I am seriously impressed with this. I also love how this connects right to our next stop, which is the Edison. And it's actually, we're gonna take like the back room entrance. Like we're gonna walk through the back doors of the Enzo Sideway and go right into the Edison. That's my favorite thing about this. Jackie actually ended up getting the lemon cello, but you know what's funny? What? You're next to a big jar of lemons. That's what I was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is very fancy, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I, I can say I see a difference in between like cheap like Admiral Nelson like rum and then this rum Of course you have to pay for that, but this is like so smooth and it's actually kind of refreshing And I I'm, I'm starting to appreciate that a little bit more now. So uh, cheers. Salud <laughs> It's also really nice to switch up from whiskey to rum and this is a great spot for those vintage rums, like I said. And the most expensive one, I think, is uh, $33. So, I mean, that's not too bad. As you can tell, you go down to the Cognacs, they have a Kennedy for $55. And then a little bit more down, the Rye's actually get a little bit more expensive. The Whistle Pig Boss Hog is $95 for a pour. This was absolutely delicious. But now for the main event, the high roller menu <laughs> at the Edison. Look at Jackie's excited. She I'm really excited. excited. And we like high rollers. Yep. So Is we're gonna actually. Oh yeah, you gotta roll the dice. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Oh! <laughs> high roller. <laughs> so we're actually gonna actually exit through the back of Enzo's Hideaway to get into the Edison. All we have to do is take a left past the cheese and meat cooler, and then go into 
the wine cellar here and we'll notice we got just a little tiny like hallway back here see it doesn't look like we're supposed to be going this way but it takes us right into a corridor and then right on in to the Edison how cool is that the Edison is by far my favorite place to come hang out steampunk with live music and amazing cocktails and the food is amazing here as well so cool and I'm happy that we're gonna kind of basically hang out here for a little bit because there's a lot to take in oh yes like I said before they have a high roller menu and it's gonna have some of the most amazing cocktails I am so honored to be able to try this the bartender PJ who actually created this menu is actually gonna be taking care of us tonight and he's gonna show us all the ways here is PJ he is gonna be taking care of us tonight he's the author of the high roller menu and he actually has an Instagram what's your Instagram I am the alcohol alchemist Oh, very fancy. Yeah. And you were basically in competition, right? You submitted, you're in the top 50 of... Oh yeah, I do competitive craft cocktailing. Um, it's, it's pretty intense. I just uh, was involved in uh, the United States Bartenders Guild uh, World Class, sponsored by Diageo. I made top 50 in the United States. So uh, we're currently in the national semifinal round there. Competition's very tough. Looking forward to getting some positive results in the coming weeks. Fancy! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> PJ's got a station all set up and he's going to prepare all the high roller cocktails for us. And I'm excited because this is some very amazing stuff. Now you can see they have the Maker's Mark signature, the private select right there. And then this is Michael Jordan's alcohol, his liquor itself. So this is going to be, this is going to be an experience. These are the actual high roller cocktails PJs are going to put together for us. And you can see some of them are very pricey, but and you're going to actually witness the artwork that goes into actually making these. And I think he's doing the Gilgamesh first. So this is going to be such an experience. I feel like it needed that like skull smoke cloud when I popped that in there. This is an ancho pepper liqueur. Very neat. So a lot of people are worried that this drink is either A, going to be too sweet from the chocolate orange, no, or B, is it going to be too spicy? Well, this sugar is just enough to balance the scale, be just sweet enough so the pepper isn't overpowering, and I would call this pepper warmth as opposed to pepper heat. This there you have it. Very you win. fancy. You win all the competition. <laughs> what? That is so cool. Drink with caution. Next, PJ is gonna make the tea time. And this is your this is the drink you submitted, right? This is your competition? This is one of the competition drinks I did in the past, yeah. Fancy, this is gonna be good. Um, it needs to be concentrated because obviously when I stir it, it's gonna I don't want it to over dilute. BJOP. It stands for very juniper overproof, so it's actually a, a navy proof gin. 57.7% ABV. Well there you have it. Gorgeous. Tea time. Tea time. And last but not least, the silk and lace. This one right here is made with the actual Maker's Mark Private Select just for the Edison. This one's $34 and these are very phenomenal cocktails. I love everything that they put into this. I got my secret ingredient, my Ooh. house infused Ruby Porto. You don't want that NyQuil taste. You know? The quarter ounce there is all you need. Okay. We got our chocolate bitters here. Look at that color. And so we're going to finish off.
Here is a look at all three of the high roller cocktails. We have the Tea Time with Prudence, which is the tall one in the back. The Gilgamesh is actually this one right here, which is really awesome. I love the way that they're actually making that. Like, I love the glass that they use. And then, of course, the Silken Lace right here. Oh, these are gonna be so amazing. I can't wait to try them, though. I think I'm gonna start off just in the order that he actually prepared them. So I'm gonna do the Gilgamesh first, and this drink has such a fancy, like, presentation. I think it's amazing, and I'm excited to try it. So I'm gonna go in. Wow. That is so smooth and amazing. No kickback at all. Wow. Seriously, that is, that's a good drink. The thing with this drink is I was expecting to like taste a little spice because of the habanero and ancho But it is balanced perfectly with a little sweetness and it's definitely something you want to sip on and casually drink at a nice slow pace So now I'm gonna jump right on into tea time tea time with prudence And I think this is like one of the more fancier glasses. Look at this. I feel like I'm from the great Gatsby Yeah <laughs> This is gonna be more of a gin based drink. And like I said, I always like holding glasses like this itself. So I'm gonna just do. Oh wow. There is a lot of things happening there. You can really taste all the different flavors. And you can tell it, they put a lot into this. Like this is a signature cocktail, like more than anything actually. Definitely a very big earthly taste to it, and I enjoy it. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not the biggest gin fan, but uh, this actually has a unique blend of different flavors, and I can very, I can't really tell there's a gin drink to it actually. Now it's time for my favorite. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite yet because I haven't tried it, but I have a feeling it's going to be my favorite, the Silken Lace. Because I like Maker's Mark Select, and I've had it here before, and plus the, just the vanilla inside of it with the red berries, I can smell it. I'm excited to try this. This is gonna be, this is definitely gonna be my favorite, I know. That's, that's, it's not right. It is not right. Like for something to taste that delicious and to be like a, a, a cocktail, it shouldn't be allowed. Like most people can't drink the Maker's Mark and then not have a kickback or anything like that, but that's something you can like drink like jungle juice almost. Oh wow, this is this is phenomenal. This is it, number one for me. But don't forget, let me know which one you think you like the most because I mean, I, I don't think I can do better. Also, I should point out that the ice cube is stamped with maker's mark. So just like the uh, old fashioned that we had at Morimoto, this one is also very classy and fancy. It's so cool to be drinking the drinks and enjoying the music. All of these drinks are very, very amazing. And the one thing that I like about them the most is they created them right here inside the Edison. Like PJ made this right here and he actually used all the ingredients from all of the different vendors from Disney Springs. So he actually got tea from the tea company inside Disney Springs, and he also got the honey from the honey store right here in Disney Springs. So it's really, it's really fascinating. And the fact that one of them is a competition drink, that's perfect. Ooh, but some fancy food. We got calamari. Calamari, electra fries, and? Thing. The bacon. <laughs> we need the bacon. Oh, the Look bacon. at that. Oh, I'm so happy. Do you remember Nate last time we had this? I have that. Get it off. The yes. I get it off the clothespin. I needed your help. Jackie, I still have my clothespin. I wanted to keep mine and I, I didn't. I kept my clothespin. It's it's at my house. I'm gonna keep one this time. Yep, this time I did. I'm one. This is a I love the bacon here. <laughs> Edison. Oh, I dropped a little bit of the bacon jam, but it's so cool to actually eat it off of the clothesline, like pin. So it's kind of like chopsticks, but this is the best. To go with the bacon, we also got electro fries and calamari. I am gonna try the calamari. I'm yeah. excited. Which one should I go with? This one? Yeah, and this sauce is non-spicy. Ooh, non-spicy sauce. Yeah. Because I like eating off of a clothespin so much, I think I'm gonna actually clothespin the calamari. 
Look at that fancy. The calamari was actually very delicious, and I would even say that the sauce was good too. Overall, I really love the Edison when it comes to cocktails and when it comes to appetizers, like just alone. I can come here and literally drink drinks and eat appetizers all night long. I love it. Obviously, you guys can tell how much I love the Edison and all of their amazing drinks, so make sure if you guys come, check out PJ. He is an absolute amazing bartender and he's so skillful in his trade itself and the high roller menu has such an amazing amazing like cocktails and ingredients i absolutely loved it i hope you guys enjoyed it too and uh we'll see you next time so bye